Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about angles. Before we go to this topic, let's take a look at this picture first. This picture has two lines, namely line AB and line CD. These two lines will never cross, even when we extend it forever. And these lines are called parallel lines. Now, what if we will move one line that will look like this? Obviously, they are not parallel lines anymore since they cross at each other and they cross at this point. When two lines cross at each other, we call it intersect and the point where they intersect is called intersection. Now for this situation, Let's name the intersection as the point P. Also, when two lines intersect, they form angle. So in this example, there are four angles. The angle BPD, angle APD, angle APC, and angle BPC. There are also other ways to name some angles. If we have an angle that has an arc near the intersection point and has letter next to it, for example letter B, then we call that angle as angle B. There are also times that a Greek letter like theta are used to name an angle. Angles also have parts. These two arms here are called rays. If the two rays originate from single point, then an angle is formed. So angle can be defined as some measures between two rays and these rays are called the arms of the angle. The first arm where the angle starts is called the initial arm and the arm where the angle ends is called the terminal arm and the point that connects the two arms is called the vertex. Now let's go back to our first drawing. We all know that these are parallel lines. Now, what if we move one line, line CD like this, and forms like a plus sign? What do we call these lines? So when lines are arranged like this, it is called perpendicular lines. And the angles that are formed are always 90 degrees. Or it is called the right angle. Right angle also has a special symbol. We use little square instead of arc. So whenever we see an angle with the square symbol, then we can immediately call that the right angle. Did you know that we used angles in everyday life? Try to look at an analog clock. Angle is formed between the minute hand and the hour hand. Now the next important angle that we need to know is the straight angle. Straight angle is measured exactly 180 degrees. Straight angles are actually just a straight line. Now what if we have an angle less than 90 degrees or angles that are greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees? What do we call them? Okay, so the angles which measures less than 90 degrees are called the acute angles. So in this example, angle AOB is an acute angle. Please take a look at the picture. And the angles which are more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees are called obtuse angle. The angle formed here is an example of obtuse angle. And lastly, the angles which are more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees are called reflex angle. By the way, a complete or full rotation of a circle is 360 degrees. Please take a look at the picture shown. So to summarize it all, if we move the terminal arm anywhere between 0 and 90 degrees, then it is called an acute angle. Now, if we move it to 90 degrees, 
it will form a right angle. And if we move again the terminal arm between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, then it is an obtuse angle. And at 180 degrees, we get a straight line or straight angle. And lastly, if we move the terminal arm between 180 degrees and 360 degrees, then it is called the reflex angle. Before we end this video, let's have an exercise. Okay, so for the first question, what do you call this angle? I will give you 25 seconds to answer this. Yes, it is an acute angle. Next question. What do you call this angle? Again, I will give you 25 seconds to answer this. Correct, it is a right angle. Now for the last question, I will only give you 20 seconds for this. What do you call this angle? Correct, it is an obtuse angle. And that's what angles are all about. So that's it guys, did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot about angles. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.